In this video, I'll demonstrate how we can set up VCN flow logs to filter specifically on SSH traffic to a specific OCI resource within a VCN subnet. To begin, we'll need to navigate to the network command center within the OCI console. On the left side menu, at the bottom, there's an area called traffic monitoring. We'll need to create a capture filter. A capture filter will determine the type of traffic that we will generate and log within the VCN flow logs itself. To begin, we'll give it a name. Filter type will remain as flow log capture filter. The sampling rate can be anything between 1% and 100%. Let's select 100%. We want to capture everything. Within our rules, we can filter on the type of traffic we want to capture. For this use case, we only care about SSH traffic, which runs on port 22. Let's select that. But first, we'll need to select TCP. And then within our destination port range, we'll type in port number 22. And since we only care about 22, the range will be 22-22. /22. All right, from there, we'll create our capture filter. Once complete, we'll navigate to the network command center. And from there, we'll select the flow logs option at the bottom left of the menu. All right, well, let's enable the flow log for the traffic we care about. We'll select enable flow logs. Once again, we'll give our flow log a name that relates to what we're trying to capture. I already have a log group, but we'll need a log group as a container to hold our logs for the flow logs. I'll select my log group there, and then I will select the capture filter I just created. All right, once finished, I'll select next. Okay, now we'll add an enablement point. This is essentially the place where we're going to capture this VCN flow log traffic. For this use case, I only care about the resource itself or the compute instance, so I'll select that. And again, for the resource type, I only care about the compute, so I'll select instance vnic. I'll select the VCN where the computer is located along with the subnet. And here we can see the actual VNIC associated with the compute instance that I care about. And from there, I'll add enablement point. Okay, next. And then last thing we have to do is enable flow locks. Now, after a minute or so, we should have the option to actually look at this data coming in. So I'll click view more logging data. And here we can actually see our logs. We can see where this traffic is captured for the float logs, which is the instance VNIC. And if I scroll down and look at my flow logs, we can see we're capturing only specific traffic to that instance over TCP port 22, AKA SSH. That concludes this demo. Thanks for watching. To learn more about OCI and best practices, please visit our website at oci.com.